hello and welcome to welcome back to the course uh, in this section in the previous section we learned about the controlling aspects and some of the the drawbacks in this section in this video we will be looking at what are the things that are not recorded in balance sheet okay so what's not in the balance sheet customer list and goodwill of the goodwill in the business so there are a lot of customers which they are valuable customers which rely solely on your company and that gives a very big value to your company that are not recorded in the balance sheet but um, uh, you, you may be able to sell the customer list you may be able to uh, sell the goodwill but that you cannot record in your balance sheet because there is you are not paying for that you are just earning that out of a period of time and trust you have been trying to to maintain the those customers longer the customers longer the value it higher the value it is future earning capabilities of the business so the balance sheet also does not recognize this uh, very very important aspects while we consider when we do the valuations what are the future earning capabilities because the balance sheet is a historical thing uh, it has been it's recording only what has been done already it is not uh, going to record what are the things possible things those are covered in the business planning forecast uh, which for which we will be doing another um, course uh, on the financial planning uh, and uh, the business planning where we will be looking at the future earning capabilities of the business management talent and workforce skills even though uh, in the in the real world we say that uh, human capital is the biggest capital biggest asset of the business unfortunately balance sheet does not recognize that there is no recognition for the skills that i mean there are uh, skills that we do we train we charge that to expenses but we can't recognize that as an asset because there is no accounting standard which can value the the workforce skills or the management talent but also that is uh, temporary because if the management leaves the those talent people leave the you are making a loss but if they stay with you there is no value to them or you cannot make any value to you cannot assign them a value particular value you should know right you should know about it good industrial relations means the man, uh, memberships of many chamber of commerce your inter competition relationships your partnerships those are also not recognized by the balance sheet uh, real economic value of the fixed assets because as we discussed uh, in the in the detailed part of the balance sheet while we were discussing the fixed assets the balance sheet does not recognize the value of the actual value of the fixed assets once after they are bought so unless you are doing a revaluation uh, you will not know the actual economic value of the asset or how much uh, future earning value of the invest uh, of the machines for example like you buy a machine now the machine is worth $10000 over a period of time you are depreciating the value so at the end of 5th year probably the value uh, depicted in the balance sheet is only half but the life of the machine is still there and uh, the actually the economic value of the assets is the future earning capabilities discounted at whatever exchange rate uh, whatever uh, interest rate so that value may be much higher than the value of the business so um, when you are looking at the balance sheet you need to be you need to bear in mind that it will not give you a real value of the fixed assets or uh, your property or your machines brands logos trademarks built up in the business for which you have not paid anything so those are also not recognized by the balance sheet as an asset but they are actually your asset if you're going to sell them in the market you may be able to make a lot of value copyrights patents i mean they they are some uh, if you are paying to acquire a registration cost you can you can register them in your uh, fixed assets but only the value of what you have spent not the real value of what is you if you're going to sell these values but because there is no accounting standard to or no uh accounting principles that can recognize or that can value those things okay some of these things are actually covered in uh, annual reports when you look into the details of the annual reports if you read the management discussion and analysis uh you will be find you will be able to find the customer list uh 
probably the major customers you will be able to find the future plans of the business where you can estimate the earning capacity you will know a lot about the management but only the top management not the workforce skills but nowadays a lot of companies are putting up the training plans what kind of training they are doing into the value uh, you may not find the value of uh, relations or value of fixed assets you may but you may be able to find the uh, the you may not be able to find the value also of brand logos and trademarks but um, you may be able to find the list of them that's the only thing you can find but the valuation you cannot find so these are the inherent uh, limitations of the balance sheet uh, which makes them kind of redundant but we still value them we still use them for certain analysis because to a certain extent they represent quite a fair quite a view quite a fair value of the position of the fixed asset position of the business and they help to to um, analyze the, um, the value in details uh, even though there are a lot of things which can be these things which can be more valuable than the physical balance sheet but uh, for our course we will be learning the balance sheet uh, now we will be learning more about how to analyze the balance sheet in deeper details uh, when we go around when we will looking at the ratio analysis chapter uh, so stay tuned and in the next video we will be learning about the profit and loss so i'm still excited thank you